So I've had a lot of messages from you guys uh, to continue the scraping the web series. Don't worry, I'm not stopping this anytime soon. So we've already scraped StockX. Today, we're gonna scrape GOAT. By the end of this video, you'll have scraped the GOAT site, found their search API, and created a Discord command bot. I'll also share with you their old API, which provides loads more information, but do keep in mind that in the future, this may not work. So if you do try it out and it doesn't work, you don't get any response, do keep in mind that they might have just discontinued it. Before I get into it, do drop a like, drop a comment for future sites you want me to scrape, and most importantly, subscribe. Do also join the Discord group where we'll be sharing loads of new projects, and this is where you can ask questions and get help and meet like-minded people. Link for this is in the description below. All my other social will be linked in the description, and with that, let's get into it. First things first, I like to use Python, so please install Python either through python.org or through the Microsoft Store if you're using Windows, uh, and I'm using Python 3.9. So the first thing we like to do is always check the developer tools. So I've got the GOAT site in front of me, so we'll hit the three dots on the top right, more tools than developer tools. And we got the developer tools on the right hand side. Um, just gonna clear that. So just remember to go into the network so you see all the network requests being made. And we're gonna click the search bar <clears throat> so we can search on Go. So let's just search anything. I just like to search for dunks. And we get all these requests. A lot of these are images. Um, let's try and find one which is the API which responds with all these items here. Uh, I think is this one. It says dunk, so that's the query I made. Let's check the uh, pay. Uh, let's check the preview. So what does it respond with? So we got request and response. I'm guessing it's going to be under response uh, and results. And we get 25 responses. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, 25 items here. There's 25 responses. This looks like it. Under data. Yep. Here we go. This is what we want. So this is under results, uh, each of these is uh, one of these shoes. And with that, we get a load of information. So like the lowest price and different currencies, um, product type, release date, the SKU, all of this. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is try and grab all this information. And we're gonna do this programmatically. So let's copy the URL and I've got VS Code in front of me and I've just created a Python file called GOAT and we're going to be using requests. So if you don't have requests, you can open up terminal, type in pip install requests and it should install that for you. I've already got it. Um, and we're going to create a function and it's a search function. So def search <coughs> and we just type in the query there. The URL is the URL we just got. Um, and it's that. Let's have a look at what we have in this URL actually. Uh, so we've got the query dunk here. Then we've got, I'm not sure what this is, using the, some client. We've got a key there. And then the number of results per page is 25. And then we've got this thing here as well. Um, let's go back on that. Let's actually copy and paste that into a browser. And then also at the same time, we can use a uh, JSON viewer. So if I copy all this and paste it in here, and then we see the response. Uh, let's open that all. And then if I just open another one of these, but then this time the URL is, I get rid of basically everything except this key because the key looks important. Um, so get number of results, get rid of all that, get rid of this and S equals five. And let's see the difference that's made. So I'll paste that in, view, response, results. So now I get 20, but do I get more information? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that doesn't matter. So we can just use the uh, either one, so either URL. So let's just use it as is. And let's make a request, a HTML equals requests dot get and it's just going to be that URL oh. and let's just print out that response and let's oh also we need to make this a formatted string and change that dunked query oh 
Also, actually, I do want to check if I type in a phrase with spaces. So let's say Jordan one. I want to see how does that, how does it do with that? Okay, I'm going to do that again. So clear it, search. Actually, here's a different, uh, uh, let's not use that. Yeah, here we go. Jordan, uh, percentage 21. Okay. So whenever there's a space, they use percentage 20. So we do replace space with percentage 20. Oh, but don't use, so if you're using single, single speech marks here, then use double speech marks here. Okay, now let's search for dunk. And let's run this, let's see what happens. Okay, and uh, we get a JSON response, perfect. So now we can just say import JSON and say output equals JSON loads text and then we can return with, let's only get the first product. So the first product is it's under response, then results, and then the first one. So output response, response, results, and then the first one of those. And let's print out that. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just uh, one response, uh, one item even. Perfect. Okay, now we can actually start making our command board now that we've scraped Go. It was actually pretty simple. So now we can make another file, bot.py. So with the bot, this is going to be very similar to the other bots that we've made. Um, we're going to be using the Discord, uh, Discord library, so you can do pip install discord um, I'll already have that um, we'll also import from goat we're going to import our search function um, and that's that now we set up our client so discord.client client um, and this is going to respond to on messages so client dot Event def on wait not async so async uh, def on message message okay um so like my other uh, so similar to the other times I've made these we're going to make sure that no bot accounts can uh, will interact with this and we can make this specifically for one channel so. Um, and also uh, you need to paste in your token so I'll get into that in a second so that's your token and this is going to be the channel ID um, that you want the bot to only work in um, to make sure that the bot that no bot accounts use this you do message dot uh, author ID I think or author so I always need to check this uh, if message author equals client or user then return um, and also to make sure that this to make sure that we can only use this in a single channel we do if message dot chan mess channel dot id is not equal to channel id then return so it only works in our channel Okay, now we can get started with it. Um, and let's say whenever we use the command um, exclamation mark, go does it um, actually activate the bot? So if message dot content dot split, and we're going to split it with spaces. And if the first element of that is equal to uh, go, then we can start doing stuff. 
So just to explain what's happening here, if we have a message which looks like this, then and the query is actually going to be like this. So we're going to have a string like this. It's going to split it every time there's a space and we're going to get something that looks like this. And then we only want the first one. So if the first element is that, then we know that the bot has been activated and we start doing stuff and we start searching on go. So that's the case. Then we can say item equals message dot content content dot replace in this case goat yeah, emptiness but also goat and space so here what's happening is if we have our string again which looks like goat dunk like that um, we're going to replace every part we're going to replace every part which has this with nothing so it's going to get rid of this it's just going to search for dunk the reason we do this is imagine if our search query had multiple uh words in it so for example jordan one we just get rid of this and we continue we keep having that space between the jordan and the one and now we can just search for the item so i product equals uh search item and now we're using our goat function that we made now we just have to create the embed that you see on discord so you can say embed e embed equals discord dot embed oh can't spell um and this has a title and a url okay now we need to check the response that our search function uh, gives us. So we can actually just look into, oops, we can just look into this. So under each um, product, under data, we get all this information. Um, so now we can start putting stuff in. So the title would it, of it will be, uh, let's say just value. So the title will be product value and the url will be let's have a look we've got the slug here so we're going to use a slug so it'll be product uh, data slug but then the slug is just what's at the end of the url so we'll just get the first part of it which is this we just add that to that so this will take this these two strings this will respond with a string and we'll just put them together and we get the full URL okay now we can also start creating all the different fields and thumbnails so embed dot set thumbnail I'm only gonna do a few of these um, and we got the image URL here so we just do uh, is this URL equals product data and um, what's image underscore URL or in lowercase image underscore URL uh, add field and I'll only just do one field just because this can be quite monotonous so let's just do the retail price sense let's do that so we'll say value, uh, name even, uh, retail price in cents, and value of this is product data, and data that is just everything in the low case. So retail price cents. Okay, and that is it. All we're gonna do is then send the message to so our wait message dot channel dot send embed equals embed. So we're sending that embed to the channel. Uh, and to run it, we need to do client dot run and spit in our token here. And that is it. Let's have a 
double check this again so on a message first make sure we don't get any bots uh, we make sure that the message is from the channel make sure that the channel is right then we make sure that the bot is actually activated with our keyword we search for it and then we create our embed and then we send the embed okay perfect so to get your token and channel ID, what you have to do is go onto the Discord developer app, uh, tools. So when you go on Discord developer, uh, discord.com slash developer slash applications, you'll get this page. You create a new application, type in your name, uh, type in the name of uh, the application you want. Uh, I'm just going to click on one of these that I've done before. Uh, you'll be presented with this. All you have to do is create a new bot and that's pretty simple they will have create a bot um, button here uh, you'll be given a token which you can copy and then paste that token in here and then after that to add your bot to a specific server you go on you click on this tab click URL generator then click bot and we'll just click administrator copy this URL paste it in a browser and then with that you'll be able to select which server you want to pay you want to put your bot in and it should be ready uh, i'm just going to put in uh, a token that i've already got generally you shouldn't be sharing your tokens with anyone but i'm going to be resetting my token off this video so even if you try and send something or try and create a bot onto with this token it shouldn't work um, but just just to demonstrate how it works i'll just show you okay so if i bring up discord um okay first thing let's run this so you run the bot file and it should just stay running so this is just continuously running and now you can see the bot has come online and now i can interact with the bot so i can write go dunk it should respond with it. there we go i've got the image the title and all I put in was the retail price but you can add a load more things on that and that's the end so please drop a like if you enjoyed the video uh, do subscribe to see more content similar to this and comment for any other sites you want me to to scrape do join the discord server below if you want to be part of a growing community that's interested in programming and with that thanks again and I'll see you next time